Okay, so here we are. Happy couple, yeah, not. Yeah. So in case you haven't heard the news, Super happy. we are being evicted. We have We're seven days. Out. Can you give me my water getting kicked out. And um, Nancy is going through the formal notice because it has all this legal language that I don't know all the explanations. And if you didn't see my, my life update, long story short, it's my fault. I'm gonna have to take responsibility. A lot of the evidence is on my YouTube channel. And what happened was upstairs and to the left, one of the neighbors knows that I have a YouTube channel. And I don't know which one it was. I've met both of them. One of them has been putting lots of notices in to the administration about me screaming, about me throwing stuff, about me yelling at four in the morning. Apparently, when we signed the contract for the building, they have all these rules that you have to basically obey if you want to live here. You know, you have to pay this per month, you have to, everything's covered. Well, I broke those rules by waking people up, by banging on the doors. They saw me throw food up on the casillion. I was like, oh, we're gonna have to pay for the cheese. I got stuck up there. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know why I didn't think they would. Because they don't have a brain. No, I think it really came down to like, most people make messes and most people clean it up. Not it's, like you do. No, but it's not structural damage. It's not like I put a hole through the wall, you know. You basically have. Where? Where, Orlin? Where have you put a hole through the wall? Click the link below to get a personalized five to eight minute long video just for you. We can also DM each other too. Link below for my cameo. There's no holes through any walls. So please don't, or the, now's not the time to be funny because they're watching everything I do now. Well, it doesn't matter because we have seven days to leave. I thought the legal stuff of Florida, oh, by the way, I'm having Little Caesars leftovers or then second soup. Mm, I put everything in the microwave. Ooh, look at this cheese. It's so cheesy. Ooh, I love cheese. Yes, I do. Ooh. Um. Shouldn't you be losing weight so you can actually help me when we move to pick up anything? He can't uh, pick uh, up anything. He made me spill this. Here, not this. I'm not gonna serve. Okay, good. This is my box. So yeah, yesterday I went to U-Haul. I got 50 boxes. It costs so much money for cardboard. It costs a lot of money. For cardboard that you're just gonna throw away. The trees had to be grown, they got chopped down, the animals lost their little nests in the trees. Just like they lose their homes for your for your journals. All the journals you hoard. It's a lot of trees. Now is not the time to be funny, please. Just sit there and be quiet. So anyways, um, yeah, apparently, no, seven days is a thing, which I've heard of when I was in Las Vegas. I told you the story, I was at the Airbnb. And they got caught because of me, <laughs> of me filming, and they, they were renters, and they were paying rent, and they were renting out to Airbnbers, and they weren't even living there themselves, which is against their building's rules. And they had seven days to leave, and I thought, oh, they were just lying to me, because I'm like, no, everyone has 30 days. No, it's different when you're in a special, specialty building, or a spe it depends on your contract. A lot of newer buildings do this. It's something that smells like rat over there. It's vegan. It has, okay, so it has shrimp, but shrimp are technically sea vegetables, so this is technically vegan. You want my water? Yes, I do. What's wrong? <clears throat> I'm very thirsty. I'm very, I'm very stressed, you guys. I, I know this is a mukbang. I'm very stressed. So this is the brand new pizza that just came out from Little Caesars. They have like, um, marinara. Ooh, look at that cheese. They have uh, cheese in the middle. Balls of cheese. It's good, but I think this is way better. I don't know how you can be happy after what's going on. I just thought mm -hmm. not happy. Okay. So anyways. How are we hey, gonna, right before, how are we gonna get over this? You're boring, be quiet. And right before starting this video. Don't call me boring, you're boring. Shh. And you have no neck. Cheers. <laughs> there goes Orlin falling asleep. <laughs> okay, let me go for this pizza. Ooh, hot and steamy. Mm. Okay, it's not as good when you reheat it, but it's still pretty good. Mm. Mm -mm. 
So right before I do this video, like I was trying to say, we were watching some ghost videos. Now, if you guys don't want to hear about ghosts, goodbye. Because that's what I want to tell you about right now. <clears throat> Not the whole video, just like right now. Um. Um. I never believed in ghosts, real. I mean, I didn't disbelieve them. <gasps> Ooh, you I didn't grew up in a haunted house. <clears throat> um, I didn't dis disbelieve them. I heard you. Um, I just never experienced anything myself, so I was like, eh, whatever, you know. Click the link down below to follow my Patreon for mukbangs and drama not allowed on YouTube. Must be age 18 or older. Link below. I got very scared from scary movies, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. Scary movies were very scary for me. The Ring. Oh. Anyway, it wasn't until I met Orlin that I start to experience a few things, not lots. They're not life changing. I mean, they're pretty dang, pretty dang scary when it happened. A one or two times in Colombia, something weird happened. And then we were visiting the in-laws and they were gone for a couple of days. And we were watch watching the house with my siblings. We're all adults, 20s and 30s. Well, I don't know if it's because my parents left. No, I don't think so. It's because Orland came. Because Orland was visiting. And there's ghosts that follow Orland. They don't really follow us here. This finally, don't blame me. That's a haunted house. Finally, no, but seriously, you know they're attracted to you. Finally, we're in an apartment where there's no paranormal activity and we have to leave. All of our other apartments in Tampa, in Columbia, Everywhere we've lived more than there has been paranormal activity. Everywhere. We used to hang stuff in the hallways. I mean, this is the first place ever where we haven't had to do anything to keep those ghosts away. Yep. They come to me. One time I was staying at my sister's uh, apartment and... Okay, I'm gonna leave. Oh, it's the ghost. It's the ghost. It's the ghost. Orlin. His little soup. Ow. Anyways, I'll tell the story. It's better if I'm by myself anyway. Ah. <laughs> um. Does smell go away? Let me try this down here. Oh, this is a taco. Taco. And that's chalupa. Chalupa. Duh. You can get a bigger table. Also, before you rudely interrupt me with your fart. <clears throat> oh my god, this is hot. I was staying at my sister's apartment and I was sleeping and then I woke up because I heard something and I opened my eyes and I was paralyzed, I couldn't move, so I had sleep paralysis. Oh, but no. I could see through my eyes, like, you know, you could still move them. I could move them and when I looked towards my sister's bed, there was a ballerina dancing next to her, which is spinning. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Is she ever dreaming? No, that was no dream. Because I woke up by mom. After it ended, I was like, I pushed my mom like, Mom, I just saw something really weird. I saw this and this. Oh. I'm not picking it up. Well, here's the thing. Orland's whole family has seen ghosts. It's not his... It's, your mom was probably like, Oh, yeah, I saw that one two days ago. Yeah, she comes Fridays and Mondays. <laughs> Yeah, his whole family sees the same things. They all get haunted in the same ways. My family, not so much, but when we were, again, visiting the in his in-laws, my parents, and we were with my siblings, we were house-sitting when my parents went on like a, a two-day trip or whatever. <laughs> oh my God, it was so, I mean, that's when I, I started mentioning my monk monks. I was still filming every day. I was like, you guys, I feel like something's not right here. I was telling everyone, but at one time, I'll never forget, I was filming, and I saw like a blur, like a shadow. I don't even describe it as a shadow, I have like a like warped image. It's like if I took this part of the screen and went You know, I just kind of warped it for like two seconds. Like the, my peripheral vision, I was looking at that camera, hi little sloths, I'm back home, should we do? I'm like, I was like, what was that? I got all these goosebumps, it got really cold. Oh, that was something that ha happened all the time. And I was in the basement where it was kind of chilly anyway. 
but there would be cold spots all the time. Cold oh, really? spots. Oh yeah, you, I told you. Where I was editing by the desk, mm -hmm. I'd be like, or I'm walk here. It'll be like, you know, normal temperature, you know? Mm -hmm. It'll be like ice cold right here at my desk. Yeah. There were so many cold spots there. And um, the craziest thing, I can think of two things. The, well, I had these little sliding closet doors and um, they moved right in front of me in Orland. And my parents were like, are you sure that just wasn't like the cats jumping around upstairs? No. Are you sure that wasn't the dogs? They love to brush it off. They don't want to think about it. They're like, oh, those were just, that was just a little, you know, a little earthquake. Or like the earthquake in Philadelphia, really. <laughs> like, oh, a miniature one. You know, it was just the cats, cats bouncing around. My mom would be like, oh yeah, sometimes I hear things fall down. It's just the cats playing. <laughs> No. But Orla and I both watched the closet move from us and we were alone that day. There was no one else in the house. The cats were not in the freaking room. It's an, it was a small little room. It was tinier than this room. It was a very small room. And the, and the closet door, it just doesn't open or it, it, it moves this way. And it just did in front of both of us. You spread your legs so big when you sit. And they're so wide apart. <laughs> <laughs> the clo closet just went right. You know? It was so, and none of us were touching. I was sitting on the bed. It was like I was about this distance. I was like, because we were both. We we're like, what was that? And we're looking right at the closet, and they just went right, right in front of us. And then one of my pictures above my computer was of an avocado. It's a Nicocado avocado. That's what my sister drew for me a long time ago. And it was always straight. And then went. Right. I didn't watch it move, but I had left the room, and I came back, and it was moved. Okay, you know, no no cat is jump climbing the walls. Uh-uh. And there's a door in the living room that's always open. Always. To keep the flow the, of traffic, you know? Coming through the house. It was like a divider, whatever. <clears throat> that door closed. And usually, no, not usually, always, always, there's an iron horse like this big, it's an iron horse, it's a door stopper. It's placed right in front of the door. It's very freaking heavy. <clears throat> it's like an antique. Um, the door, <clears throat> and again, we were the only ones home. And I went upstairs, I'd been very spooked. I'm like, Orlin, something's not right. Goosebumps all down my neck, I feel cold. My picture slanted. We watched the door, we watched the door move on my closet. We went upstairs <clears throat> and the door was closed. It's not, that was your first time ever seeing it closed. That was the first time I ever saw it closed. You didn't even know there was a door there. I didn't even know because it's glass. Door. Yeah, it was always against the wall with that horse stopping it. No. Very creepy. one of my little sauce bowls, it's glass, you know, where I dip my cheese in. It wasn't mine, it was my parents. Or maybe, yeah, it was my parents. Well, we used to wash dishes in the utility sink down in the laundry room. And one of the glass bowls we noticed was like over here, under a bunch of like tubing from plumbing, a bunch of like wires and stuff and it was perfectly like standing all the way over here. We're like, how did it get there? If it fell, it would have cracked into a million pieces. No one would have slid it there. It only came once we arrived because no one was doing mukbangs in the basement. <laughs> it was all, it, like no one would have brought a glass bowl all the way downstairs. No. Oh gosh, they didn't even want to go down to, to do anything. So it was like, that was clearly from our doing. Someone, we think it was the ghost because they can levitate objects and place them down and can move them fast and they can, I never put it, I mean, I mean, I barely even did the dishes. I would have never, it would have broken if I put it down there. I mean, I don't even, and I never even caught it. He brought it up to me. He's like, why is this here? I'm like, oh yeah, I don't even know. Like how would it get there? It should have cracked. Yeah. It was very creepy. But it was also that time we went out to throw the trash. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Pop. <laughs> we went outside to throw the trash and when we went, came back in, we heard like this loud noise and it was a bottle that just fell off a table. Well, it was dark, so we, didn't, was, like, we, were walking, we were walking through the dark and we had our flashlights on. And literally, I remember I was like this on you the whole time because we were already spooked. Mm -hmm. It's like, 
it's like they stay for a couple, they stay for an hour. They know you're spooked. It's mm -hmm. not like they come and go. It's like they're, they're, they're there. Yeah. They're there and they linger. I didn't see anything. All I did was hear a noise. He says it was a bottle. But on the opposite side of the room, it sounded like something fell. Now, could it have been the cat? That's what my parents would say. Oh, it was just the cats. <laughs> no. It was very, it was like, snap, like like it got whipped. It was thrown. Like, boom. Yeah. In Colombia, now, I never saw this. He saw it, because, again, I don't do the dishes. All the cabinets in the kitchen would stay closed. Most people keep their cabinets closed. Like, let's be real. It's very rare to live in a house where people keep their cabinets open. They have doors to keep them closed because it looks pretty. It's more organized. Well, or you can tell them. He said that he'll come back. He'll come down the stairs. He will come down the stairs to do something. Thank you for turning that on. Okay. And like a bunch of doors would be open. They would all be wide open. Literally, all of, we didn't have that many cabinets. They would all be wide open. And there was uh, a dresser on the sec on the second floor. And the top dress, the top, uh, how, what do you call the thing? The thing you pull out, what do you call that? A drawer? drawer? Yeah, the top <clears throat> drawer would be oh, fully open. Every what, morning. where, which drawer? The, on the left, when you will go into that room where you just edit videos and you make a left, there was a drawer there. The camera supplies and stuff. Yes, that will be open every morning. Maybe I left it open. You never told me that one. I told you, it would, it would always be open. Yeah, be wide open, like all the way up. <laughs> the top one, where we keep important stuff. Yes, yeah, so always like fully open. <laughs> hmm. I never done that. I told you, yeah, it was wide open. The cabinets. I told you about the dresser. You didn't tell me about the dresser. Yeah, and also that one time I was washing dishes and <clears throat> I got really cold. Like I could feel, you know, when when there's a presence. At least I feel really, really cold. Like it gets super chilly. And you get goosebumps. So I feel like this presence, this ominous presence, like I felt very distressed. And Nick was sleeping upstairs. And I'm like, hmm, something's going on up there. And I went up. And when I went into, when I entered the room, Nick was sitting up with his uh, face mask on. Well, that's so creepy sounding. And I slept on the floor, first of yeah. all on this little sponge and sometimes i would do this thing where i would like sit up mm -hmm. <laughs> i know that sounds so creepy but i have always done that my parents were always weird, weirded out by that even as a kid they used to check on me while sleeping and i'd be like sitting up like in my bed like this like i am the devil <laughs> could you just imagine like <laughs> like you're laying down like Rrr. yeah he probably gets possessed but anyways i entered he was awake he was like barely waking up and i was like are you okay you you said, I don't know what you said, but you, showed, you told me that you felt something on your back. And you, you showed me and there were scratch marks on it. Mm -hmm. But like, it's not like you got scratched and the skin was broken. It's like under the skin, like almost like a hematoma. It was, it was like a... It's, like a hickey. Yeah, but like... In with, lines. In lines. I said it was a backpack. You know how many have backpacks? And they create like stress marks under the skin from like broken capillaries. Like pressure. I said, oh, it must be my backpack, but that was the first time it ever happened. I wore my backpack everywhere I went there, so. No, it wasn't that because that, during that week we had a lot of other weird things happen. And I ended up doing an exorcism, remember? Well, come to find out, we're talking about the, the last house we were in Colombia that you saw on camera. The last <clears> one <throat> with the brick walls. Where I sat in that room, a man had passed away right there. That used to be a bedroom. I made it a mukbang room because, you know, it was a, mm -hmm. whatever. <clears throat> so we found out later, after we, you know, were moved in, that the man had died right there in that, in that room where I filmed mukbangs. And I won't forget one time I was filming, <clears throat> I was cooking, I was like, oh my gosh, la 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 la, I had my lights on, my stove, I used to cook in front of, ugh, back when I used to cook. <laughs> I was cooking, oh da da, on my little griddle in front of you, steam was coming up. I'm like, okay, it's time to turn this off. And once I said off, all the lights went off. In the room. <coughs> Just in my room. Not the camera, because it's in my YouTube video. Mm -hmm. My lights went off. I was like, oh. I didn't think anything of it, because we lost power kind of frequently in Colombia. 
But Orlin was always home when I did my mukbangs, and he was downstairs. Mm -hmm. And the lights went on, I'd say within that same minute. They went off maybe for 15 seconds, which felt really long. But if you count to 15, one, two, three. I mean, it's a long time. And I remember I asked you, I was like, oh, did you see the power go out? He's like, no. I'm like, the power just went. He's like, I've been in the kitchen this whole time. Or, or yeah. We were somewhere downstairs. Do you remember where I you were? I was probably cleaning with the lights on. He, all I remember you, you saying was like, I was just in the lights the whole time. They did not go out. Yeah. I was like, well, how did it go out just in my room? Yeah, that's like impossible. It would have gone on in the whole house if it was an outage. I also had the fish tank, by the way. Yeah. There's that, and then the knife swinging. Oh, yeah. So we used to hang our knives, but so we had this long butcher knife. You guys remember it from our Columbia videos. It was like this thick. My favorite. Long. One. It was like, oh, pop, 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 like yeah. to chop up like lamb bones. Pop, 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 pop. It was a good one. Well, it had a hole at the end of the, the handle at the hole, and you would hang it on the on like a nail on the wall, or you know, like a, a, a hanger for you know utilities, you know, cooking utensils, and so it, it would just hang. You put you put the, the the hook into the nail, and it would just hang. Okay, you get it, right? People hang their their stuff all the time. Well, if, if you tapped it, it would start swinging because it was like plastic handle. Mm -hmm. You tapped it, it would go beep 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 beep. I was not there for this, but Orlin said, it, "Well, you can tell them." I would be like sweeping in front of the kitchen, and I would feel like a weird presence. You know, like you know, like in your peripheral peripheral vision, you see like a shadowy figure or like a blurry figure. Like I would feel that type of thing, and I would see that type of thing, and then when I would turn around behind me, I would see the. The, the butcher knife is going like this, and it wasn't just once; it was many times. But none of the other neighbors were swinging. No, it's just that none of the other neighboring utensils. It was just that one, just that one, which is crack here. Keep you like the, the ghost wants that knife. Yeah, because they can make objects move and levitate. You know, they can like what if it threw the knife at your face? Like, what would you do? <laughs> yeah, that was just that one. It would just be like. Whoop, 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 whoop. Hmm. Yeah. Well, actually, at at your family's place, no, I was sitting down in the sofa, just chilling, <laughs> and I felt something weird, and I'm like, hmm, something's going on. And I just looked up randomly at the wall because of that, and I saw a peacock feather just spinning, it was like going like this too. Hmm. And there's no AC vents there. There's no drafts in there. I know. <laughs> Then I talked to your family and they said that they had a named ghost in the house. Yep, Guster. The same Guster. Guster the ghost. My mom was like, oh yeah, your brothers have already given it a name. Because, you know, they had to live through it. You know, I moved out at 18, went to college and didn't really come back. I mean, for partial, sometimes I did, but I still have other siblings that are in and out. Some, you know, long story, one of my sisters is with a long, they might be getting married soon. So they were living at my parents' house. Anyways, they all named the ghost because they said some things would happen, such as uh, a portrait. Yeah, so we have this, this shelf, a line of all the siblings, and the parents, and the grandparents. And we have all these different portraits. And then we each have our um, grad graduation photos or whatever. And uh, one of my sisters, the ghost, for some reason, loved to turn that one around. Like, we're all facing, you know, hello, facing the, the dining room. And uh, then her face would be turned the opposite way. Like, we don't want to look at you. And you can see, like, the tracks of the dust mark, the tr path, the training, <laughs> like, <laughs> And my, my mom was like, yeah, that's when I really knew something was up. Because she's like, you know, my brothers used to do pranks and stuff when we were younger. But they're, they're very serious people, unlike me. And I'm obviously not living there to be doing the pranks. <laughs> I never really, actually, I've never played ghost pranks on anyone before. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, um, I remember she said she walked up to the shelf and said, I know you're here. Stop it. <laughs> Stop touching it. I see you. Knock it off. <laughs> enough is enough. <laughs> <laughs> Try to, like, say, I'm the boss of the house. She was being a Karen to the ghost. <laughs> she was a Karen to the ghost. <laughs> um, but, yeah, they gave... Guster and name because they have been experienced, but they aren't scared of it. And then they always like say, "Well, it's just the cats." Because yeah. <laughs> we have to be honest, cats do crazy things. Will they'll knock stuff over? They'll get spooked for no reason, and they'll just be like, <laughs> "And you know, if you're in, you know, upstairs or downstairs, if you're on another floor, and you just hear like, 
I'm like, that sounds like a ghost, but it could be a cat spooking itself. Cats do that shit. Yeah, cats do that randomly. All the time. Yeah. My parents have many cats, and they'll play, they'll chase each other, they'll fight. They'll knock stuff over. And my parents also have a lot of stuff in the house, so there's little towers that they knock down, because it's fun for them. <laughs> They're like, let's knock down this tower. Don't forget this one. <laughs> knock it to the ground. <laughs> they like to watch things fall. So there's always, like, bit booms and bangs throughout the night. <laughs> and you know, if it's the dog, the cat, or Guster, <laughs> it's like a pinata. Right? Get it, get it, get it, knock that one down, get it. <laughs> oh, when I, when I was growing up, I would walk to school, and uh, it was really far from where, where I lived. I had to walk with my sister. And there was this story that. A long time ago, in that neighborhood, there was a, a chicken, and it had the chicken had babies, and apparently some child like, you know, killed all the babies, and apparently one of them like flew away, and it like apparently started haunting the area, and sometimes you could hear random like baby chickens just like making little chicken noises. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in places where there are no ch baby chickens, mm. like in the middle of the forest, mm -hmm. you, just, you just hear this beep, 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 like that. You just hear that randomly. And hmm. when I'd be walking with my sister, we would just randomly hear that. And there's no chickens in that place? No, there was none. Maybe there sneakily was or no? Yeah, but it was. <clears throat> and what was funny is that sometimes we never saw it, but some people would say they would see like a little ch like baby chicken, like on the top of a tree, just like chilling. Hmm. Which they can't fly. No, that's one thing. I've never seen a ghost ever. I've never seen a face. Mm -hmm. I've never seen. Oh, <laughs> you're just like. I've never seen a face. I've never seen a body, a figure. Even that time where I said I saw something in my peripheral vision, it was not the outline of a person. It just felt like. When, you know, something's warping, like the images are kind of like, you know, I, well, how do you, you know what warping means? Like it gets destroyed, like this stretches up, this stretches in, this comes down. It was never a person or a figure or a face or eyeballs. Never seen a ghost. I've seen things open and close. I've, things, I've seen things move. I've felt cold presences. I've gotten goosebumps. Um, You've seen in your YouTube videos. My also. YouTube videos. Yeah. <laughs> One time it was like in Thailand and 7-Eleven video. Yeah, he was like making a 7-Eleven video and then one of his chips just like went from being laying down to standing right up. <laughs> On its own. <laughs> and I never saw, I never caught this until like a couple days later because I didn't post every day back then. Yeah. At least on that trip. Trip. <laughs> I got deported, but anyway, that's a long story. Um, I was in Thailand trying to ride it out. And I was doing a 7-Eleven haul, and there's a bag of Cheetos. And I had all my things displayed here, and I kind of like push things forward and just pretend like this goes like this. It just stands up. And I never noticed it until people started commenting. Well, not, not even that many people noticed. Only a few people commented about it. I used to read all my comments back then. I was like, what are they talking about? And I go to the timestamp where I see the Cheetos just stand up by themselves. I was like, oh my god. I sent it to Orlin, who's a ghost expert. He's like, oh yeah, <laughs> that must have been something. And I saw people in the comments trying like, the gravity pulled it down while the chips were at the top and they fell to the bomb and it pushed the bag up. Yeah. Or, you know, as things up moved forward, gravity. people were trying to write it off. But we just got done watching a compilation of like real life ghosts. It's like paranormal activity caught on camera, which, there's a lot of fake stuff out there. There's a lot of things that has dumb music and it just looks like they're trying to get views. This compilation, I think, was like the most genuine. It was like in offices, in kitchens. It was um, in crowded places like restaurants where they're not gonna have strings and stuff. Like, I was like, I mean, one of the scenes is of, of this boy talking to a webcam and something in the back spins real quick. It's like an air freshener, it just goes whoop. And he, and he didn't even notice it. He didn't even notice it. That's the funny thing. And that was, I was like, see, that's kind of what happened to me. <clears throat> so, 
Another time, so that was one time. Another time in Pennsylvania, I was filming, I think it was noodles, and like this weird orb mist kind of went out. It was like, it was like vapor. It looked like vapor out of my food, but the food was not cooked or something. It was like I was putting the ingredients together. There's nothing hot in front of me. And there's no other vapor before that happened or after that happened. No other spot on camera. It, it was just. Like this. Yeah. Like, it, it like went like this. Yeah. That's on camera. I forget which video. Yeah. If you know, please comment down below. I want to watch that again. And was this was really and weird. this was around the time when we started talking about that we're getting like weird ghost feelings and presences. I would feel like I was being watched at all times there. It was so scary. Would you feel it too? Not really. You know, I mean, before I met you, I've never ha ever felt, I've never seen a ghost or had paranormal activities or anything. No, never till I met you. So I don't have, I have very limited experience. But anyways, that's one of the things I caught on camera. The 7-Eleven thing in Thailand, the bag of Cheetos just went, Doop! and then the vapor that came out of my food was like, Whew! And um, I forget what video that is, but hopefully you guys can comment down below and let us know. And I think there's third time somewhere, oh, where I was like, let's t turn this off. And I unplugged my griddle where I was cooking. Let's turn this off. And the lights went off. The moment I said off, it was like the ghost was playing games. Those are the only three times oh. that were on camera. So, um, in Colombia once, you filmed a video. <laughs> and somebody commented that they saw an old man in, on the video or something. That's before we knew that an old man died in that room. Huh? Somebody commented that they saw like the face of an old man in one of your videos in Columbia. Uh -huh. They must have been trolling. No, because we had they didn't know about the old man back then. We had no idea that somebody had died in that room. Okay, but we watched. We didn't see no old man. I'm sure we would have remembered. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you just remember someone commenting. I remember that comment. There's yeah. an old man in, in your room. Yeah. Well, and we never of, told him. medium. Yeah. And maybe it was a medium. Mm -hmm. There's some mediums that watch me. They all tell me I'm gonna be healthy <laughs> in my future. I'm like, yay! I don't know why they all say this. But um, yeah, maybe they knew that the old man died there. I mean, who knows? It's kind of specific. But nothing caught on camera though. Other than those three times I just mentioned, are there any other times where I've caught something paranormal on my videos? I can't remember. What about yours for your channel? No, when I was in Africa, I didn't record much oh, of what was his happening. Stories. He used to call me when he was in Africa through like WhatsApp or something. And he'd be like, Nick, the scariest thing just happened to me. He'd be like on the verge of tears. He's like, I really wish I could leave. He'd be like, something grabbed my feet in the middle of the night. I'm like, Orlin, you're not playing games. I, got, I, was, I was getting pulled out of the bed. I like grabbed onto the, <laughs> to the back of the bed. <laughs> yeah, I would hear footsteps. I saw an old man sitting in the living room. And then when I looked again, it was gone. And, um, oh, one time I was working at a farm, and you weren't there, but you- I had the biggest fupa! Okay, keep going. <laughs> one time I was working at a farm, and I finished working for the day, and then I went to sleep in my room, and I was falling asleep, and then I got, I got hag, it's called being hag ridden. It's like you have, like, <laughs> you get, you feel like you're- Having, doing it. Doing it with a ghost. And, and you're not the active one, you're just laying there. You're just laying there. And she bounces up and down. Yeah, and you can't move. I'm surprised they have names for that. Does it happen pretty often? It happens pretty often. I didn't know that that was a thing. Oh, you talking about that mango farm? Yeah. Yeah, I, I got haggard in there by a ghost. <laughs> and you didn't tell me till like a year or two later. Yeah, I didn't think much of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, that was in Colombia. There's a lot of old, creepy farms in Colombia. I think Orland says the most haunted place on earth he thinks is Colombia. Well, because we've had so many atrocious things happen there. Especially, you know, the areas we work. <clears throat> well, anywhere there's the war, they say civil war. Oh, Pennsylvania, Gettysburg, you know, where there's the civil wars and the battlefields and the south versus the north, and they were all shooting each other. You know, they say those places are haunted. It's nothing like Colombia. The communal graves that are throughout, scattered throughout the country. Communal? Oh no. They would just dump them in there in holes and just cover them up. Unnamed graves. During the times of Pablo. It was very bad. And even before that, during the during the, the times they call the violence in Colombia. My opinion, 
I think the world needs to stop doing graveyards. I think we're <laughs> they're no. just creepy. <laughs> Ten thousand dollars on fancy wood to put a dead body in. I mean, it's a waste of money, a waste of trees, run out of space. It's expensive, and it just sounds it just sounds so like you know Stone Age, you know, back in the middle of the times where they had you know black teeth because they couldn't kind of find a toothbrush. You know, we're putting people in these fancy coffins and. <clears throat> I don't even think it's religious. I don't even think in religion they tell you how to bury them, do they? I don't know. <sighs> well, if they do, then obviously that's one of the reasons why people would not walk away from that tradition. But in my view, I just feel like just cremate them. Turn them to ashes. I wonder if you. I wonder if you get like your ashes spread if you'll still be a ghost. I was gonna th maybe one of the reasons why there's ghosts. It's because the, the dead weren't burned away into ash. The bodies were just dumped in communal graves, into graveyards. Why are graveyards, graveyards so haunted? Are they haunted? You know, are the ash burning facilities haunted as much as graveyards? Maybe not. Which would then show that these ghosts stay on Earth. Because their bodies just, just got dumped. And maybe this is a sign they didn't want to be dumped like that. Well, well. <laughs> it doesn't bright. matter how nice you put, the, you put their favorite suit on. A little teddy bear in the coffin. There you go. You know, Uncle Joe. No, no. <laughs> Where I grew up, we would go to like this farm, and in the mornings, you would wake up to go check on the horses, and sometimes you would find horses with all their entire mane full of uh, uh, French French knot. What do you call those? Uh, braids. Braids. Yeah, all the horses were braided. Their hair is on their and head. And you would hear them. Down. You would hear the the night before. You would hear the horses screaming. And you, have you ever heard a horse scream? It's like the creepiest thing. Yeah, yeah really loud. And then in the Yay. mornings they would have their entire mane braided. Oh, I I think I read or heard somewhere that ghost uh, horses get spooked very easily. Like if a cat walks by a horse, the horse goes. Whoa. Yeah. Like the horse gets very scared of the black cat. Yeah, but they they would all be braided. It was the weirdest thing. And sometimes. Uh, I don't know if this happens. That sounds like a nice guy. I was doing her, getting my hair did. I hope I that's know, that's <laughs> Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. no, I was thinking, there's so many things that happen in Colombia. Like one time we were driving a car through this, it's, it's this town that's known to be haunted. It's well known, well established. But we had to drive there because it was a roadblock. And we were crossing it. I was, it was me, my uncle, my mother, and my sister in a, pick, a blue pickup truck. It was a Mitsubishi. <laughs> and it was midnight, I believe. And as we were listening to music, we were all like, you know, laughing in the car, telling jokes or something. And as we're driving, we see this person that was like in shredded clothing that looked really dirty and like dead crossing the road. And it was it was too fast, and my uncle couldn't stop the car, and we went right through, like we it went right through the car, like went into the car, and we saw it. Everyone in the car saw it. Everyone in the car saw it, mm. and we almost crashed and died mm. because of that. Mm. And then um, when we came back through, because we also had to go go back to the same route because the the road was blocked. Uh, in the daytime, we saw a bunch of uh, crosses with flowers all along that road. Oh. And apparently it was very common for people to just crash there and die because of that. Because oh. there's a graveyard across the highway, like a big, big graveyard. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Scary things. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> I hate vegetables. Okay. Um. Well, <laughs> ghosts. If I came back at a ghost, what better. would I do? I'd raid the refrigerator every night. You'd hear that door opening and closing. You'd be haunting a McDonald's. The cheese drawer. The cheese would be flung out the cheese drawer. But <laughs> have you ever seen my new cheese dance at the shopping? Shopping for the cheese. Dun, 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 dun. Cheese aisle. Cheese aisle. Dun, 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 dun. I almost dropped the glass, <clears throat> but I didn't. You want a napkin? I got it. Spilled a little water, but I'm good. <laughs>
<laughs> Got him so fat. It's so hard to have energy for these videos when you're vegan. But you know, I'm not like vegan so and I have no energy either. Pizza makes me feel like a slump, like a like a slug, slump, sluggy slug. Yeah, like I feel so drained and oh, I have no energy. My brain's not working. It's like wrong. My thupa feels so big. Have you ever felt like because it is big? No, like right here. Oh, yours is big too. Not as big as yours. I'm okay, you're right where the bigger. belly button is. Right where the belly button is. I hate when you do that. No, do it alone. Or I doesn't like to be reminded. I don't like that. I like to pat his big belly. No. No, stop, stop, stop. I don't like that. I do not like that. It, it disturbs me. I don't like when you touch my nipples all the time, and that disturbs me. Well, they're cute. He has the tiniest little nipples. Not anymore. Yeah. I did, I, now they're sad. They like I had down. the tiniest nipples. Now they look down on me. <laughs> <laughs> now they droop down. They droop down. When he was a skinny little, little Twinkie, he... <laughs> Oh, stop. <laughs> he had the key. I used to call them, uh, what are they called? Nickel nipples. Nickel. They look like little nickels. Nickels. They're so cute. They're so cute. <laughs> Orland's got the pepperoni nipples. Yeah, I got like pepperoni. Bologna. Oh, that's my favorite. <laughs> yeah. They're massive. Oh my god, they're so nice. <laughs> No! <laughs> oh, I don't like that. Mm. <laughs> Touch mine. Oh, mine has a different timbre. Listen. Wait, move your hand. Let's no. Let, let, let them hear. No. Let them hear. No. <laughs> let them hear. I don't want to. One last time. One last time. Okay. Compare it to mine. <laughs> No. Move your hand. No. <laughs> Move your hand. No. Move your hand. It's disturbing to me. Move your hand. Okay, go. Okay, now listen to mine. <laughs> That's like a thud, like a brick. It's like a ripe watermelon. <laughs> no, like overdue. Like <laughs> overdue. <laughs> overdue. Well, you are pregnant. Literally, I think I have a lot of gas. Like this. No. It's... No, look, does it look bigger than normal? You're on your 18 month. 18 or then stop being funny. The question, yes or no? Do I look, does it look bigger than normal? Or no? It looks normal. It looks average for you. You know, like, uh, like a bowling ball. Hmm. I love cheese. They know. Dun -dun. I love cheese. It shows. The bone. <laughs> It shows. <laughs> da -dum. Cause we know it's true. Orland likes cheese. It also shows. <laughs> da -dum. No. Orland likes cheese. No. Da -dum. We love cheese. Don't jiggle my fat da -dum. <laughs> Yes, we <laughs> You're so embarrassed. I am. Or is the kid who would never take his shirt off at the pool? Oh the my beach. gosh, in PE class? I would never change in front of people. <laughs> You're the kid that just press. Did you at least spray yourself with Axe or something? I used to put on, it was mandatory to have that u a uniform shirt on. Like you put it underneath. Press. I would put the, un the uniform shirt on top of my other shirt. I just put it on top. So I wouldn't get a bad, a bad, a bad grade. But you don't want people to see you. No, when I was skinny. I didn't like people watching me change either. No, I was very bothered by it. I was very bothered. Yeah, I didn't like people. I felt embarrassed. Yeah, and the, the, maybe it's a gay thing. The guys were really mean to me too. And I never got like you know, like oh look at the other cute boys or anything you know because like if it was full no, of girls. Just and boy, I was embarrassed. I, I never was like oh I can't wait for PE to look. at I didn't even. I was just like you, but I still did it. But I, I would like suck it in and move, do it like really fast, like, oh. and I would look down at the ground. My eyes wouldn't go anywhere. I'd be like, "No one look at me," because I used to have these little rolls. I mean, oh. now it's just like, oh, well, my now God. it's one big roll. Now I would crave those little rolls. Now I'm one big old tootsie roll. But back then, you know, it was it, you know, it was a little cute. But I was still very embarrassed by that. I don't want to see. It. And I would just look down at the ground and be like, you know, I would change so fast. I'd be like, <laughs> and sometimes I used to talk to some of my friends. I was friends with um. Another guy, 
He was straight, but he didn't like changing either. It kind of bothered him. And we were both, we both had that vibe where it's like, we didn't want the jocks who were like working out and doing steroids and you know, the six packs and whatever. We didn't really want them looking or judging our bodies or whatever. So he and I used to like chit chat and wait for the people to change. And it got pretty empty. Like we were some of the last people to leave. And they would be like, okay. But we went, it was like a, it was an unspoken pack, you know, pack of honor. What do they call it? You know, a pact where it's just like, I'll, we'll do this together, but we're never going to address that. We're, like, I don't, we're not going to acknowledge in words that, yeah, let's just chit chat to wait for more people to leave so we feel more comfortable taking our shirts off. But that's what ended up happening. We would come and chit chat. Oh, da 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 And then, like, people are leaving, people are leaving. They've all changed. We're just like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and spray ourselves with axe. Oh. I was skin and bones, and I still didn't want to change. Was... Yeah, I, I didn't feel comfortable. I was just like you. No. E no. Mm. <laughs> no. 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 Ooh, there's some over here, too. Ow. <laughs> no. Orlin wants to go on a diet. I mean, well, he is on a diet. All he had was uh, vegetables, fruits, and seafood. How and healthy. Cornstarch with water. Very healthy, and I just had pizza, pizza. Well, we're on two. Had an avocado. We're on two different journeys. <laughs> I want a million subscribers on my daily channel. So I see. I started a new YouTube channel. It's called More Nikocado. I want a million subscribers. That's. I just want that plaque and be like, I did it. Take that, all those other people who said I, I'm nobody. No one likes me. I can't succeed. I find a way I can succeed in my own way. By eating. Yep. <laughs> you need to make a violin. I want a million. Huh? You need to make that channel for your violin. Eventually. Ooh, that's a cameo. I know that noise. Why did your phone go off of that? Oh, my phone's over there. Where's my phone? It's in your pocket. Oh, that was your phone. Oh, I just heard my phone in the other room. Why is my light on? I must have pressed it. Ghost. Cameo. Let's see who it's for. I don't know if I should say this out loud. No, you shouldn't. New request. I have to answer my DMs. You guys can DM me on uh, every couple days. I like to try to go through them. <clears throat> every couple. No, I don't sit there and do it every day, but. Okay. Oh, that's on Orlin's phone because. My phone ran out of memory. I just ordered a new iPhone because my phone has no memory. And you have to save the video to your phone before you can send it to the person. And I've been deleting apps and deleting photos and screen recordings and, you know, videos I make for anywhere else I like to make videos, if you know what I mean. And Patreon, like 18 <laughs> years and older. And I don't want to delete them. I might use them in the future. And I know you can put them on your computer, which I have. I put them on a hard drive, but You're I still like- lazy to do that. I just put them on my hard drive. The problem is I don't um, I don't feel like I want to be able to have it on my phone if I need it to my phone to upload it somewhere or send it on social media, you know. So, uh, anyways, I feel like this video is very long. Anyways, um, my stomach hurts. I had too much pizza today. It's from losing too much weight too quickly. He lost. Okay, so he lost a pound the other day. He lost another pound. And another pound. See, he loses weight very quickly. Anyways. You got half a dragon fruit in there, right? You want, you want a dragon fruit? Mm -hmm. I'll bring it to you. I'll bring it right now. Will you eat it on camera for me? Yeah, I will. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Head of cabbage, or whatever this is. Iceberg. Mm. Oh, I actually feel disgusting with pizza right now. My fupa is very expanded. It feels like, I'm sorry, that's, it's not the fupa, I'm being funny. It's where my belly button is. It's my lower stomach. It ain't down there, fupa. Fupa land. I mean, I know they're all connected sometimes. Mine are not that, I'm not that fat where they're all connected. We've seen what that looks like, no. It's a clear distinction between the upper stomach and the lower, lower origins. Ah, uh, but I feel pressure. I think it's gas. Too much pizza. I'm gonna eat a lot of fiber. Or is it gonna bring me that dragon fruit? I'm slurring my speech kind of right now. I'm sorry, I'm very well aware of it. It's because I have uh, lettuce stuck in, in my teeth. I'm like, I'm good. There's lettuce stuck. It's more difficult to speak. Ooh, 
all this lettuce popped out. <laughs> mm. Okay. Hello. Oh, I don't know if I can eat a whole other head. Now that I think about it. I'm also really sleepy. Thank you. I believe the Friday. This one was open. This one was the one you opened for me, right? I just opened it right now. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. thank you. I ate the other one uh, to the, yes, this morning, actually. Okay. I think this is Haley's comment, but I'm not sure. I don't even like these. I just, I feel like they flush me out. It's just it tastes good though. This one has a nice flavor. It's like a nice mild sweetness. It's fine. <laughs> they're very pretty. I think they're very pretty compared to the white uh, dragon fruits and the red dragon fruits. It's fine. <laughs> 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 no, I agree. No, I most people that are watching this video have never even tried a pink dragon. They're like, oh, what is that? It looks like candy. It looks nicer than it looks. It's like magenta. It's that popular bitch from school. See that? It's magenta. Looks so nice and friendly. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. She mean. There's a really good dragon fruit variety called Sugar Dragon. That's an amazing variety. You want to buy it? I've had so many. I bought like a 20 pound case of them and I ate all of them. <laughs> Diarrhea, ooh. <laughs> I know. <laughs> 20 pounds of one. Like a week ago. You ate all? I ate all of them. You had 20 pounds of dragon fruits? Yes. I didn't even notice. I've been eating them every day for breakfast. We live two separate lives. Clearly we got separated. Yeah, well even... you've eaten eight heads of lettuce this week. I have. You have, yes. Eight? Yes. There's only one left. Okay, I don't even notice my own life. I live my own separate life. I mean, half me. This would have technically just be the eight. I have bipolar, huh? Technically, this would be the I've eight. eaten eight of these heads this week? Yes. I buy them by the case. I know that. I remember that part. Gosh, I have early dementia. Well, yeah. I'm like Britney Spears. Oop. Don't say that, Dick. Apparently, allegedly. She has signs of dementia, which is the reason she has her conservatory ship. Well, you have chronic brain maggot syndrome too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you want me? Do you want to be my conservator? Yes. Say yes. Yes. <laughs> yes I. Feel, you get all my money, basically. I feel that I'm very qualified to handle. Well, you do clean. You wipe my butt, literally. It has happened. You're yes. like the livid nurse. It has happened. I am your home health aide. <laughs> he needs life alert when you have Orlin home. Uh, Orlin! I hear Orlin. that all day long. All day long. Orlin! Help! I'm falling and can't get up! Orlin! And then he comes running in. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> Excuse me. This is pretty good. It's good for you. My lower stomach. It's really, not sugary. I my just, lower stomach feels like, like I feel so gross. Maybe it's all the sodium. On. Does this have potassium? Yeah. My speech is. Actually, let me put, let me put it on in that um, that food app. Probably no potassium. Let's see what's in it. I had it on the cow today. Let's see what's in it. <coughs> I do not feel good. I should start buying mangoes. <sighs> it's almost citrus season here in Florida. It is. I actually, um, I need to go and get some, some fresh citrus. I think Florida oranges taste way better than California. California ones are so dry, just like their landscape. They're gross. Yeah, they're not good. Have you had good ones from California or no? They, they have good flavor, but they don't, the oranges, uh, they have a lot of pith, like a lot of that white part, the mm -hmm. fluffy part and you barely get anything out of them and sometimes they're really bitter sometimes they're they're sweet but sometimes they're even dry on the inside but a sweet or if you took the best florida orange and the best california orange florida say they're orange. both valencias florida. who wins okay florida. they're both navels who wins florida florida citrus is just juicier and sweeter because of the sun yeah. probably right the sun the sandy soils are beneficial to them are, and you wouldn't think, you'd think they need more... Citrus does really well here. Um, th they've had issues with citrus leaf greening and you know that, that affects them sometimes, but... Citrus is really good in Florida. Can I have another? Can I have another one? 
Can you take this back. No, I'm not eating. Okay. It's so bad. My stomach hurts. I don't want to. Imagine putting that whole thing in your stomach. Ooh. Well, I, uh, I like this because it, it works just as well. It's fibrous, but it's less volume. I do not feel good. Oh, I don't feel too much pizza. See, the fruits will definitely help me feel better. That's a little pro tip. And I am a pro because I've been doing mukbangs for four years. No one else has lasted this long other than me. I mean, some people, me loves life. There's people who have lasted, but they eat way healthier than me. So if you want to be a junketarian, I used to be a fruitarian and a vegetarian. I was a vegetarian for 10 years. Now I'm a junketarian. And the secret and pro tip, you're better off eating fruits and vegetables when you feel like what after a big meal versus not eating at all. Because most people just be like, I'm done eating. It will sit in you longer. Your digestion will be worse. It'll take you longer to poop. You'll feel, you'll wake up feeling like hungover. We just, uh, you eat fruit and you wake up feeling not as bad. Refresh. <clears throat> There's uh, qualities to fruit that are probably not quite understood yet. Oh, I think they are. I think they know how good fruit is. Mm. How blessed are we, Orly? There are so many people watching this video who have never even tasted this before. Mm, this one's good. Yeah, the, I find smaller dragon fruits are tastier. Mm, this one's really tasty. They, they have concentrated sugars. This one's very tasty. It's the same with a lot of fruits. Like mangoes are just like that. Uh, um, if you get a big mango, sometimes the flavor can be washed out. But if you get like a small mango, the flavor is really complicated. Same with avocados. I love the small yeah. ones. The small ones are the best. Yeah. Um, how blessed are we? Not only can we access this, but we can afford them. These aren't cheap, are they? No, they're not cheap. How much was your case of 20 pounds? $50, probably. <laughs> no, no, not that much. It was like 30 <clears throat> That's very expensive Born. for, you know, diarrhea food. <clears throat> it's like 30 that's that's really cheap. Uh, I've seen them at Asian markets. Oh, cheap for this. Where they're like eight dollars a pound. I have seen that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's gonna. I mean, even if you just want one at the store, how much is one? Two dollars probably. Two or three dollars easily. But I'm getting them basically for a dollar and some change each. Because you buy large quantities. Well, yeah. And you actually eat them. I know how to source fruits. You know. But yeah, two dollars for a little. I used to live on $2 a day in New York. Shoot. Imagine if this is all I could eat for the day. There's your dinner. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> You'll be skinny in no time, sis. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you get. Should I buy more dragon fruits? Tomorrow, tomorrow I'm going to buy lettuce. More lettuce. You go through lettuce very quickly. My body knows. I go, I go through real quick. I really do feel bad down there. And it like hurts. And I also feel like whoa, whoa, like too much sodium or something. You I don't food. feel good. You finish it and then, and then I eat the lettuce. I don't know why you want to do this video so late in the day. Because you were eating. And, and I was I, eating some gross vegan food. And I knew I wouldn't be able to fall asleep unless I ate more. Well, you, you definitely ate more. Give me, give me more. Wow. How's your gross vegan food? Vegan. You're not gonna get a second serving. You made all of that. Yeah, but I've been distracted with the video. Let me go. I'm gonna go, go get food. more. I need done now. This is like a two-hour video. Okay, you go eat. Well, I'm gonna say goodbye. You can go. Um, you go and eat in private. Orlin doesn't like oh, you. I have to eat to survive. No, this video is too long. I'm gonna say goodbye by myself for the last four minutes here. Okay. Do you want another dragon fruit or no? Okay. Off camera. I I should wrap this up. You're right. These people are so bored of me. Thank you for watching me. If you made it to the end, do a red dragon fruit. No, do they? What kind of um? You know the little red circle? It's just it looks a circle. Like you do right now. It looks like me. Red circle. Just comment red circle. It looks like the the Japanese flag. It's just a red circle. I'm smart. I know what the Japanese flag looks like. Do you know what? Do you know why? Because I used to watch the Olympics with my parents. It was very fun to watch the Olympics. Although, I do believe that, um, well, let's not get into that. That's a little political. Never mind. Never mind. 
I think the Olympics is a great thing though. It kind of brings countries together. But I think it also makes people really like envious of other countries or very like talk down to them like, oh, they can't ever do this or they do. But I think the, the Olympics is spe special. I mean, it's like one planet. Like where all these different states, all these different countries, all these different beliefs, you know, communist countries, socialist countries, democratic countries, corrupt as heck democratic countries. <clears throat> and we're all coming together to be like, well, we all share this planet. Because now that it's been a fact that aliens and extraterrestrials and UFOs do exist, they have been spotted, it's no longer a secret. We all got to be together, you know, and like the Olympics kind of brings us together a little bit. And also I think there's some honor in people who are getting recognized for doing great things with their bodies, like sports, <clears throat> art, like movement, like, like the, not the ballerinas, but, oh, what's it called when they flip up and down the balancing beam? What's that? What's that called? What's the, what's that called? The art of what? Blank. It's when they dance on those those little springy mats and they do those like choreography dances or they jump on the balancing beam or what are those called? Oh, my stomach. I don't know, but you know, I think it's great when, when we appreciate people doing positive things with their bodies and you know, working to do something beautiful, the diving, the um the sports, the running. Assuming they're not, you know, taking drugs and stuff, that's kind of bad, you know. Probably a lot of pressure to sneak stuff in, I'm sure, you know, to be better and to be, be the best. Um, I know, probably a lot of pressure. <coughs> My stomach be blasting. I'm about to... Blast everywhere, all over this chair. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you for watching my video with Orlin. Um, I hope you liked our conversation. I'm gonna stick this on Nikocado too because um, I feel like I just posted on Nikocado three, and I also want to get this out. It's relevant. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you on one of my other channels and this one. Make sure you subscribe to this one. Thank you. Bye. Oh, oh, I'm about to go sit on the toilet and pray. A big thank you to my patrons for supporting this video and my executive producers, Zen, Dr. Captain, La La Baby, and Alizy Yeezy. <laughs> for more mukbangs and other content not allowed on YouTube, join my community over on Patreon. Must be age 18 or older. And for something more personal, get a video from me directly on Cameo, where we can also DM each other and chat one-on-one. -on -one. So if you want to see more content, come follow my Patreon. But if you just want to talk to me, talk to me through Cameo. Links to both are down below. Thank you so much. Bye.